Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? Nosotros somos Elba y Mario, somos de México y pues hoy queremos hablarles acerca de los deportes nacionales mexicanos. ¿Cierto, Elba? Hello, we are Mario, I'm Elba, we are both from Mexico and today we want you to learn a little bit more about our Mexican national sports. The thing I like the most about being Mexican is that I have the privilege of taking part in an exciting sport called charreria. Charreria is the official national Mexican sport, but it's not only a sport, it represents also our culture, traditions and history. But for me, it is a lifestyle. It involves all family and friends. I remember that since I was a kid, I was expecting to the weekend to come so that I can go to Charreadas. Charreadas is the name of the challenge of Charreria. Charreadas are taking part in a special place called Lienzo Charro. It's something like a stadium. In a Charreada, if you are a boy, then you will be participating as a Charro. And you will have to wear a special costume consisting in a hat, a special tie, and a pants covered with chaparreras and wearing boots and spores in the boots. If you are participating as a charro, you should be part of a team. Each team should complete nine different actions that involves roping, horses and bulls. But if you are a girl, then you will be escaramuza. Escaramuza consists of a woman in the same team. They should wear the same dress and be riding in the same saddle. But girls are riding side saddle. Yeah, just as you heard. It's a special saddle called albarda. And it has a special place so that you can cross your right leg. And they are making some kind of choreographies with horses. Escaramuza is like dancing with horses. You are riding your horse while traditional Mexican music is played. Participating in a charreada means a lot of work. You have to train very hard with your horse also because it means a lot of good communication with the animal. But also, if you are going to a charreada, you will have a lot of fun. It's a festival, it's a parade, we have music, we have traditional food, we have colorful costumes. So please, if you have the chance to go to Mexico, don't miss a charreada. Maybe we can meet there. Lucha Libre means free wrestling. It's a little different of the Greco-Roman wrestling because we have a ring and we have a referee. The rules in Lucha Libre are so simple. You have to fight three rounds without limit time and the point of it is to get led by your opponent in the ring for 10 seconds. If you do that, you are a complete winner. Why is so popular in Mexico? The Prehispanic cultures start making a theatrical representations about the fighting with the good and evil, the good ones versus the bad ones. So, to make it more uh, folklore, they start wearing masks. The most popular fighters are from 1950. In this decade, in Mexico, Lucha Libre becomes terrific famous. We can remember of that decade El Santo, Blue Demon, Mil Mascaras, El Huracán Ramirez. Mask in Lucha Libre, they are so important. Mexican kids used to see his favorite fighters as a heroes. Indeed, since 1960, we have a film just dedicated to fight, Lucha Film. These films talk about fighters against mummies, vampires, werewolves, and all that kind of monsters you can imagine. When I was a kid, I remember to go with my father to the Arena Mexico, that is the most important fighting stadium in Mexico City. I can remember the smell, the people yelling, city fighters fighting. This is the most impressive memory of my childhood. So as you can saw, Mexican sports are a legacy and a tradition. The main point of all of this is to family get together. Mexican festivals and Mexican sports are full of folklore. That's right, the sports are full of folklore, but not only sports. Our celebrities are also full of colorful clothes and colorful decorations. So now it's your turn to make some decorations. So enjoy your lesson. <laughs> 